We're about to preview this week's game as the Vikings hit the road to take on the Lions. Before we do that, though, I would highly recommend that everybody watching likes the video right now. I'm not saying that if you don't like the video, that voodoo magic will occur and the Vikings will lose to the winless Detroit Lions. But if that does happen and you didn't like the video, you're going to be feeling pretty bad and you might end up blaming yourself. So send some good energy out into the universe and like the video right now. Welcome into Minnesota Vikings Now. I am Tom Downey. We'll get to some injury notes around Minnesota and Detroit since there's some impact on that end. But first, I want to look at this overall matchup for the Detroit Lions as they take on the Minnesota Vikings, your Minnesota Vikings in the end. The records heavily favor Minnesota, 5-6 and six versus 0-10-1. The scoring offense heavily favors Minnesota. 25 and a half points per game versus 15.8. The scoring defense slightly favors Minnesota, 25.1 to 26.3. That's why even going on the road against the Lions, Minnesota is a seven-point favorite. You can do the funky math if you want with the over-unders. Vegas projecting a roughly 27 to 20 win for the Minnesota Vikings. And this is a game that Minnesota should win. They're a better football team than Detroit, if I may be blunt. Detroit sucks this year. But this is also a game I believe Minnesota has to win. You lose against the Lions, pack it up. I would say your season might be over at that point. Minnesota, since the bye, is 2-3. and three, But their losses, for as it has been for pretty much all year long, one score. That's it. You lose against... Cooper Rush and the Cowboys in Week 8 lose in overtime against the Ravens, then get two absolutely massive wins that I think really saved the season, at least in the short term, for Minnesota. At the Chargers, home against Green Bay, a tough loss last week against the San Francisco 49ers, but that's still a pretty big win for, or those two wins were big for Minnesota, and they are still firmly in the NFC playoff picture. They are under 500. That doesn't matter because the NFC is weird this year, and that number seven seed is still very much up for grabs. A win by Minnesota is a must. You can't lose games. You're supposed to win easily against Detroit. So with that in mind, who you got in this one? Type V for the Vikings or type in L for the Detroit Lions. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video, so all the ad break, ad break plays, head down to that pinned comment and go ahead and spam your Vs. Let's hit injury updates here. There are some notable ones around Minnesota. First up is Dalvin Cook. Now, he had been carted off the field third quarter against the Niners. The injury is clearly not season-ending. There were media reports from both Adam Schefter and Ian Rappaport that Dalvin Cook was going to miss at least two games. Mike Zimmer, maybe trying to do some gamesmanship here against the Lions, refused to say and said he didn't know if uh, Cook actually suffered his dislocated shoulder and, and his, his, his other injury. Like it's, it's a very weird situation. Here's what Zimmer said. I don't know. It's day-to-day. -day. That's what they're telling me. Uh, I am inclined to not believe Mike Zimmer in this case. I am more inclined to think he's playing some gamesmanship. And instead, I think it makes more sense to trust the Rappaports and the Schefters out there. Here's what Rapp mentioned. The Vikings play the winless Lions. Next week, they'll have a short week against the Steelers. If all goes well, with no complications, Cook could return on December 20th against the Bears on Monday Night Football. The Vikings' next three games are what Rapp mentioned. At Detroit, home against Pittsburgh on Thursday night. Both those teams fighting for a wild card spot. And then at Chicago on Monday night football. I think to feel good about the playoff spot for Minnesota, winning all three or at least two out of the three, kind of a must-happen uh, situation. Now, Dalvin Cook this year has been a little bit not quite peak Dalvin Cook. Good Dalvin Cook, but I wouldn't consider him peak one yet. 171 carries, 773 yards. Four touchdowns, 4.5 average is pretty solid there. In the event that Dalvin Cook 
does miss time, which I am fully expecting that he will, although I would happily be wrong. Alexander Madison steps up as the new lead back. Kenny Wongu steps up as RB2, the, I think, Pro Bowl slash All-Pro special teamer this year. Maybe A.J. Rose gets the game day call up for Minnesota, but they don't mind going thin at the running back position. Madison, I trust him. Has he? Is he as good as Dalvin Cook? No, absolutely not. Is he a damn good backup? Hell yeah, he is. So, yes, you want Dalvin Cook out there. The nice thing is you're not desperately thin at in the backfield with Madison. I think Wongu has some upside as well. So what do you think? Will Dalvin Cook be back by the Chicago Bears game? That is not a guarantee. That's the speculation right now. Get your predictions in. If you want to speak positive energy in the universe, cool. Go for it. Why for yes or and for no. If you guys are like me, you have no idea what to ask for around the holiday season or what to get other people because you just kind of suck at gifting in general. But if you're a Vikings fan or know someone who is a Vikings fan, this is the perfect gift. Vikings hoodie, 50% off. Very simple, folks. Head over to chatsports.com slash Vikings hoodie. Link takes you right into the hoodie area, and you can get one for 50% off. That link will be in the comment section and in the description. Now, the other injuries beyond Dalvin Cook this team suffered were Anthony Barr with his hamstring and Christian Darasaw with his ankle. Let's break down both of these here just a little bit more in depth. Barr has not been practicing as of yet this week. That could change. There is still time, of course. A bit of a red flag. The knee was an issue earlier this year. I don't know if you're going to see Anthony Barr out there. That would be a, a big-time loss since I don't care that much for Nick Vigil. On the offense, meanwhile, Christian Darasaw was hurt in the fourth quarter with an ankle. Seemed like he was close to coming back into the game, being able to go, but he did not. I'd feel a little bit better about Darasaw being able to play than Anthony Barr, but that is just a pure guess from my end. Check in on Friday, Saturday. I think we'll know at that point. More bad news from Minnesota. I hate to be the bearer here, guys. I'm sorry. Patrick Peterson. Well, he's going to miss some time. He has been placed on the COVID-19 list. He is going to be out against the Detroit Lions. Short turnaround against the Steelers could be a problem as well. Call him questionable for that game. We try to keep you guys updated as frequently as we can here on Minnesota Vikings now. And it's simple. The more subscribers a channel has, the more videos they get here at Chat Sports. So if you haven't already, hit the big red button and subscribe right now. Over now to the Lions side, injuries impacting Minnesota's chances of winning. DeAndre Swift, who has been the Lions' best player, uh, he's been awesome this year. He is going to miss at least this game, if not more, for Detroit. He only has 555 yards this season on the ground, but that doesn't begin to describe the impact that Swift has had this season. He has truly been, I think, outside of maybe TJ Hawkinson, the Lions' best receiver. 56 catches for 429 yards and two scores. The Lions unquestionably are going to miss DeAndre Swift this weekend. Also potentially out is Panay Sewell, the offensive lineman. He's a bit banged up right now, and if he can't go, that'd actually be a pretty big boost not that we ever cheer for injuries here at Chad Sports, but it would be a big boost for Minnesota. I would, as a gambling man, I would think he's going to be able to go. He has an ankle injury right now. I'm going to bet he plays, but Detroit's winless. They will not risk jeopardizing a bigger injury for one of their core building blocks moving forward. Now fully healthy is Jared Goff, or as I like to call him, Jared Goof. Uh, has not been very good so far this year. Granted, his receiving core is not awesome either but he is off the injury report he is just fine he will make the start barring a sudden practice injury against Minnesota earlier I asked you guys to you know let me know who you've got winning so I'm now going to take it a step further I want you to predict the score of the Vikings at the Lions I'm about to give my predictions here but we're a show for the people so head down to the comments let me know what you think the final score is this week. I've got the Vikings winning 27-24. They do not cover for me, but it's Minnesota. They always find ways to play close games, 
And I've made the point that no team or one of a few teams have lost more strange ways this year than Minnesota. Well, the one team that has is the Detroit Lions. So because of that, give me Minnesota to get a must-win game over a bad Lions team and pick up the victory this Sunday.